Hey guys, this is the Unify U6LR and I've actually used this access point since 2021 to solo power my 1500 square foot, so three stories, and it's worked really well. That is until I retired it earlier this year because I wanted something that would provide me faster speeds. So I ended up getting two of these. This is a Unify U7 Pro XGS. I got one for upstairs and I got one for downstairs. And the reason why it gives me faster speeds is because of Wi-Fi 7, but it may not be because of the reasons you expect. So obviously one really big difference between this and this is with this, I get six gigahertz network. And let me tell you, it is screaming fast. I'm gonna run a speed test and you're gonna see what it looks like. But what a lot of people don't realize is that with six gigahertz comes its own issues. 2.4 and five gigahertz, you've probably been very spoiled with decent distance. Let me show you what happens when I step out of my room and close the door and look at what happens to the signal drop. See that the six gigahertz sensitivity is wild. You basically need to be line of sight. And that's why when you get a Wi-Fi 6 access point, at least the non-enterprise versions, you're gonna wanna have a few of them in your house. That way you're gonna have that six gigahertz connection and you won't have to worry about signal loss. It also presents problems. And a lot of that has to do with handing off between the different clients accessing the access points. So imagine you have an access point in every bedroom. I'm not saying you should do that, but if you did, and you're walking around with your phone or your laptop, as you're walking to different rooms, there's gonna be this weird situation. Even when you're tuning minimum RSSI and all kinds of other things, the access point will just not let go of the client or vice versa. A lot of the time it feels like with six gigahertz and Wi-Fi 7, it is two steps forward, one step back. The good news though is actually Wi-Fi 7 comes with other benefits beyond just six gigahertz. And to see what that looks like, let's first use our old access point as a test. What we're gonna do is we're gonna run a speed test on this Unify U6LR using five gigahertz. And then you're gonna see how this speed compares to five gigahertz on this. So let's go ahead and run that test. Great, those are the speeds of the U6LR and they weren't bad. I mean, again, it's solo part of my home since 2021. But now I want you to see how five gigahertz on a Wi-Fi 6 device stacks up against five gigahertz on a Wi-Fi 7 device, specifically the Unify U7 Pro XGS. So let's go ahead and run speed tests against this bad boy. Here's another fun fact. If you thought that five gigahertz on this right here was really fast, guess what? It could even be faster. This is an iPhone 16 Pro Max that only supports 200, well, I think it's 160 megahertz. And this device could actually go up to 240 on five gigahertz and 320 on six gigahertz. So if the client actually supported the bands that this one did, you would actually see faster speeds. But look, already on my iPhone, you're already seeing a big jump from here to here. So you're probably wondering, Romy, what is the difference? They're both five gigahertz. Well, with Wi-Fi 7, there's actually improved data packing protocols here. So more data is getting shoved through transmission. The other thing to know is that because this actually has Wi-Fi 7, it expects faster speeds. And if it expects faster speeds, you're gonna expect that the ethernet on the back here is actually faster. So this has 10 gigabits per second when you're plugging in through the ethernet. And this one right here, the Unify U6LR, actually has just one gigabit per second. And this is not even a mention when I'm using MLO. I could actually turn on MLO, and with MLO, it's multi-link. So I could actually have 2.4, five gigahertz, and six gigahertz bands connect together and transmit data and I could expect even faster speeds. And so there you have it. If you're ever in the market thinking, well, I'm reading all these reviews and a lot of bad talk about six gigahertz with Wi-Fi 7, don't think about it as your way to get faster speeds via six gigahertz. 
think about the protocol itself, all the benefits that come with Wi-Fi 7, and then reassess if you think it's time to upgrade from something like this to something like this. I hope this helped. If you learned something new, please drop a comment. Until next time, peace.